First of all, it is so great to have you here. I hope you're staying safe out there, but most importantly, that you're staying fabulous at the same time. Today, we've got a great recipe. We're making another regional Spanish dish, this time from the beautiful region of Murcia in southeastern Spain. We are talking Zarangoyo Murciano. This is a very simple dish of scrambled eggs with zucchini and onions. And let me tell you, it's made with just a couple basic ingredients. It's very easy to put together, and it truly has some of the most amazing flavors and textures. Like seriously, this is one of the best egg dishes I have ever tasted. Now, the secret to this recipe, use the highest quality ingredients like cage-free organic eggs, the freshest zucchini, and of course, a great olive oil. You know, the olive oil is the base fat of the dish. It's what cooks and flavors all the ingredients, so use your best stuff here. I'm using one from the Georgetown Olive Oil Company, truly one of the best Spanish olive oils money can buy. It has a great flavor, and it works perfect with this recipe. Link where you can get it in the description box below. For the first step of the recipe, crack in four large organic cage-free eggs into a bowl, Season them with sea salt and some black pepper. And lightly whisk the eggs just between 10 to 15 seconds. For this recipe, you don't want the eggs to be fully whisked. You want to leave some egg whites in there. That way when you cook the eggs, it gives them an incredible texture and a beautiful flavor. For the next ingredient, I'm going to grab half of a brown onion and thinly slice it. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I'm going to peel the skin from a medium-sized zucchini. And cut the zucchini into rounds that are between one eighth of an inch thick to a quarter inch thick. Now you can leave the skins on the zucchini, but traditionally in Murcia, they do peel the skin from the zucchini. I've tried both versions and have found that if you do leave the skin on there, it overpowers the dish. All right, let's start cooking up our egg dish. I'm gonna grab a large nonstick frying pan. Very important to use a nonstick here. That way the eggs don't stick to the pan. I'm gonna heat this with a medium high heat and add any generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for one minute, I'm gonna add in the sliced onion and start mixing around with the extra virgin olive oil. Very important to mix this continuously. We are in a medium high heat. That way the onions don't burn and they all cook evenly. After about two minutes and those onions are nice and translucent and developing a light golden color, I'm gonna add in the sliced zucchini and continue to mix these ingredients around with that extra virgin olive oil. Now, as you can see, we're on a medium high heat here. Why? Because the hotter the pan is, the sooner that zucchini is gonna release its water, which at the end is gonna give the zucchini an incredible texture and flavor. And again, you wanna make sure you mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. About five minutes after adding the zucchini into the pan and it's fully translucent and developing a light golden color and those onions are nice and caramelized, which is what gives this dish that incredible flavor. I'm gonna lower this to a low medium heat and season everything with some sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna give it a quick mix that way the seasonings are evenly mixed around and let this sit here on a low medium heat for about two minutes. Let it cool off a little bit before we add the eggs into the pan. After about two minutes, you can see that the pan has really cooled down from that medium high heat and into a low medium heat. At this point, I'm gonna add the egg mixture into the pan and get in there and give it a quick mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly distributed. You don't want to overmix this. You want to end up with some large chunks of eggs here. The secret is get in there about every 30 seconds or so. About three minutes after adding the egg mixture into the pan, these eggs look like they are perfectly cooked. You don't want to overcook them, otherwise they end up with a rubbery texture. I'm going to remove the pan from the heat transfer the mixture into a serving dish.
and sprinkle it with some freshly chopped chives. Check it out, our Tarangoyo Murcianos then. This is one of those dishes where less is more, where simplicity meets extraordinary. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. This right here is what Spanish cuisine is all about. I can't wait to try it. Here we go. Absolutely beautiful. So many great flavors. We're talking these zucchini, onions, and eggs, but it's in the format, the way that you cook them, that brings out those amazing flavors. Of course, that extra virgin olive really shines through. Now, typically in Murcia, they serve this as a tapas appetizer, but you can go, uh, totally serve this for breakfast next to a baguette for an incredible start to your day. Either way you go, I still stand by it. This is one of the best egg dishes I've ever tasted. Give it a try at home and I guarantee it's gonna completely blow you away. Really quick before I go, a shout out to one of my patrons, Michael and Kelly Thompson. Again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. It helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and that card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.